Copper is one of the most widely used metals. Nearly 12 million tonnes are used each year worldwide, mostly for electrical wiring, plumbing pipes, heat exchangers and coinage. About 15% of this is recycled copper. In this process, copper is refined from scrap copper and other copper-containing waste. Impure copper is melted in a furnace and cast into anodes for purification by electrolysis. During electrolysis, the anodes dissolve and pure copper is deposited onto stainless steel cathodes. This yields copper of 99.995% purity, which is then remelted and cast into billets. This high degree of purity is required for electrical use. At this site, the scrap material is collected and melted here. This building houses the electrolysis cells. Copper is remelted and cast into billets to be stored on this part of the site. Copper scrap is heated in a blast furnace with limestone, coke and air. This produces an alloy containing 80% copper and slag which can be sold as an abrasive. Further treatment in two more furnaces produces 99% pure copper. This is cast into a strip which is cut into anodes. This is the electrolysis cell room. It houses 288 cells and uses a total current of 24,000 amps. The copper anodes are sandwiched between stainless steel cathodes in sets of 39 anodes and 38 cathodes. They're placed in an electrolysis cell containing an electrolyte of hot sulfuric acid and copper sulfate. The anodes dissolve in the electrolyte to give a solution of copper ions and pure copper is deposited on the cathodes. Impurities of other metals in the anodes do not dissolve and sink to the bottom of the electrolysis cell producing anode slime. Anode slime is valuable and is sold so that the precious metal residues including silver and gold can be extracted. Once a week, the cathodes with a 6mm thick coating of copper on each side are removed from the cells. The deposited copper is separated from the cathodes by flexing them and stripping the copper away with knives. The steel cathodes are then reused. Anodes last three weeks before being removed. About 12% of the anode remains after this time. These spent anodes are washed to remove further precious metal residues and recycled back into the anode furnace. Most of the pure copper from the cathodes is melted down in a furnace and cast continuously into circular sections of different sizes. These are known as billets.